Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Let's figure out how we can help Terra and get her back in our party. We could use her magic. Oh, yeah, so we're just going to let her stay here and pout for a little while. That's a great idea. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we can go rescue some espers. Why not? We already saved one. He was kind of there, but, yeah. Well, get out while you still can. I mean, what were you going to do back there? Cast lightning on all the machinery? Oh, well, what's Magisite? Can we take a look? Oh, so that's how you can... Le or get powers from an Esper. Okay. He's just... Gestals, I guess, just trying to forcefully extract their powers. So that's Magisite, huh? Or Magisite. Whatever. I'll probably alternate between pronunciations. I love how they use, like, the exact same sound effects from Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Well, they were made at about the same time, so. So you turn yourself into a rock. Darn. Well, let's see how this stuff works. If we can actually pick it up. There we go. Well, I guess the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And we get the Magisite Ramu. And Siren. And Kirin. And Stray. I think, I forget which one it is. I think it was Stray that was supposed to be Kate Sith or Ket She or however you want to pronounce that. Let's not argue about pronunciations anymore, viewers. I'll be going over the Magisite very shortly here. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should uh, plan things out now. How are we going to get to the Empire anyway? D didn't we kind of already establish that they were draining magic from Esperus? Like, we're acting like we're all shocked about this, but it was like, what, we didn't know? I thought that was kind of established earlier, like when we were planning our rebellion with the Returners and everything there. Oh, yeah, it's not my fault. They forced me. We could take the crane down there, but we're going to actually walk through the hallways with all those thieves and monsters and everything. Oh, yeah. So, four of us are going, well, we could make it, well, a smaller group if you wanted to, but essentially four of us are going to go to the M Empire to rescue a whole bunch of espers, but we're only going to keep two people behind to uh, protect one Esper. I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Okay, so apparently uh, Celis and Locke are, gonna are going to have to come with us in our group when we're going to find out how we're going to get to the Empire. So now the group that I want to take with me, Edgar and Gaw. I've already used Cyan, so he's fine there. And I stripped him of his equipment uh, before I talked to Tara there. You noticed in the last episode I was walking up to her, not sprinting. And uh, Cyan and Sabin, not really useful in the Empire. Uh, Edgar and Gaw, much more useful. So, this is definitely the party I want to use. Okay, yeah, and we can all, as always, we can head back to Narsh to uh, uh, regroup and everything. Okay, yeah, let's take a look. I mean, they don't exactly have a port there, but, eh. Bound to be treasure. Treasure abound. Secret treasure there. Okay, now we... Game? One step, come on. Okay, well now there's this ghost guy here that can explain Esper's to us, and I think he appears back at, um, Narsh there. Stop talking! 
So, yeah, I mean, now, uh, yeah, I'll just tell you how Magicite works. Uh, on the way back to Jador there, but I want to take a moment to, uh, rearrange my party, and, uh, so then I'll show you how, uh, to get the Magicite to work. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's take a look at my new party setup. Uh, I'll explain why I set it up this way when it becomes pertinent. But more importantly, we got some Magicite finally, or Esperus as I'll probably refer to them more often. We have a new command open here, and we got the four Magicite that we uh, picked up here. They essentially serve three purposes. Uh, first, take a look at it. Uh, we can finally learn magic for anyone in our party now. Each Esper, as you can see, has some spells that you can learn from it at various learning rates. Uh, for example, right now I'm having Salus work on Ramu right now since lightning magic will uh, be very useful in the near future. Now if you, to equip an Esper, all you gotta do is select it and boom, you've got it equipped. To remove it, just select an empty spot. You can go on to something else or let someone else equip that Esper. Now, if you have an Esper equipped at the end of a battle, you'll start gaining some magic points. So let's say, uh, go back to Ramu here. If I got two magic points uh, at the end of a battle, we got a learning rate of 10 there for Bolt. So multiply them together, you'd be 20% of the way to learning the spell. When it gets up to 100%, you learn the spell. So there you go. Um, now obviously learning for magic for everyone could get quite abusive and boring. So I'll only be teaching it to the ladies and uh, one of the male characters who's related to one of those ladies, just to keep things interesting, you know? Now, what other, what else espers do is they, uh, what is it, they, uh, you, when you gain a level, you can gain a stat. Uh, for example, let's take a look at Stray here. Uh, when you gain a level, you can get a, a boost of one to your magic power. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but you do it over the course of a game, that can be huge. Uh, so what I recommend doing is like, uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, Siren, uh, you can gain HP plus 10%. Basically what I recommend is for Salus, Gaw, and Savin, work on boosting magic power. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have an Esper that can boost vigor or strength, so I would just go with Siren for the HP boost for the other guys like Locke, Edgar, and Cyan for now. Uh, just so you know, when uh, it says uh, HP plus 10%, that's referring to the amount of HP that you would have gained, not your base HP. So let's say you would have gained 50 HP in a battle, or, or after gaining a level, uh, you'd gain 55 HP instead of that. It doesn't like, let's say, if you had like 1,000 HP, you wouldn't gain 100 HP uh, addition, additional to your normal gain. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Now, Espers also function as summons in battle, so let's take a look at that. Just find any battle here. Okay, now I've got Salus equipped with the uh, Ramu Esper, so let's take a look at that. There we go. You just hit up in your magic menu, select the Esper. Now, you can only use it once per battle, so, you know, it's somewhat limited, but I, I kind of like that, actually, because it can get ridiculous just summoning Espers over and over and over again, you know? But yeah, there you go. The lightning elemental attack hits everyone, uses a lot of MP, so I probably wouldn't recommend that specific Esper, but there's other Espers that have some pretty good abilities. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got uh, Ramu, obviously. Uh, Kirin, uh, what is, oh, there we go. Kirin, when you summon it, it uh, casts regen on everyone, so that could be somewhat useful. Stray confuses everyone. It's essentially the same thing as your Noise Blaster, but it costs MP, actually. Uh, Siren will cast Mute on all enemies, whereas the Mute spell would normally cost some MP, actually. And Ramu's Lightning on everyone. So now let's uh, head back to the Jador and find a way to get over to the Empire, then. Just so you know, now would be a good time to go back to the Velt to uh, get some rages for Ga. Uh, you can get there the same way as before, except you don't have to go through the Phantom Train sequence, but essentially the same way Sabin got there the first time. What's going on, man? Seems panicky. Who's Maria? You're not going to tell us, are you? Huh, okay. Yeah, I'm hot. You know it. <laughs> I like how she just poses there. <laughs> Stop teasing the boys, Salas. Oh, so he's the opera director, huh? 
And since that letter nearly gave him a heart attack, he just happened to drop it here. Who's the wandering gambler? What is not knowing who this wandering gambler has anything to do with being Amish? You making fun of the Amish, Woolsey? And this guy is Setzer, or Gambit as I like to call him. Oh, he has the only airship in the world. Okay, fair enough. Apparently the Esper wants magic instead of airships in this game. Alright, well then all we gotta do is get an airship to take to the Empire, so let's set up a meeting with Setzer next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. What great music to end the episode with.